Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. Coming at you with another video. So I just uploaded this video. I mean, it's like fresh off the press. Um, I'm not quite sure who's already watched and liked it here. But I, I said something in the description that I feel like maybe I should have said out loud. Uh, and we'll, we'll get into this here. So I, I think the transgender narrative has evolved beyond anything that resembles medicinal applications and truly biologically challenged individuals. It's opening many doors that can't be closed. The genie is out of the bottle. I understand there are uh, individuals out there that are that sometimes suffer from rare genetic disorders or biological and physical abnormalities. But aside from those being, again, rare, we're talking about how these narratives ultimately unfold and how the subsequent policies and legislation that's later adopted can be abused. Uh, we spend 20, 50, 60 plus years associating and identifying a certain set of characteristics with its assigned verbiage and language. Now we are increasingly more expected to be able to overwrite decades of what we once understood. If someone sees an obvious masculine presenting individual or feminine, take your pick, by habit and regularity alone, one can misappropriate a pronoun. Uh, I go on to say people have lost jobs. And what I was really talking about was something that happened in this, uh, in this video here. And I'll leave a link in the description. Um, let's go ahead and play this. Give me your corporate numbers. Well, I'm going to ask you for the fifth time to stop calling me a man because quite clearly I am not. And I apologize for that, ma'am. Because quite clearly, I am not. Now, if you listen to the video, you can hear the, this gentleman who's in customer service um, trying to get this person to settle down <laughs> and um, accidentally calls him a sir. Now, what I want to get at is how when you're starting, especially if you want to start to enact policies and in, in businesses and, you know, legislation in, in the political world, uh, this is essentially tantamount to the color game. I don't know if you've ever played it, right? You, you're supposed to read the color and not say what it is or vice versa. You see what I mean? So this says green, but it's clearly blue. You're supposed to say that color, but not say what you're reading. And that is essentially what's happening here, right? Because he, he says, obviously he is not. So that's like, looking at what this says and trying to see what 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 color it is you know what i mean if you get what i'm trying to articulate here uh, you you see a boy for 20 50 60 years of your life and you say okay sir uh yes i, I can help you and then you see a girl okay you you associate these terms in the with these characteristics that you've lived with your entire life so when you see this and it accidentally slips out, sir, because you have been associating uh, this masculine presenting characteristic with certain verbiage your entire life. Accidents are going to happen. You open up a whole world of hurt when you start to have policies that say individuals can lose their jobs or be reprimanded by misappropriating uh, a pronoun. And this here, men turning into female, transgender man turning into girl and girls into men where sometimes you can't even tell this is opening up an entirely different can of worms okay and again i'll go back to what i said in the beginning that i understand that there are uh, some biologically challenged individuals some of it, it was it's psychological uh, abnormalities as well i understand that but the vast majority it's like i was talking about in the last video with abortions majority of abortions are done out of convenience and i understand there are many reasons why abortions are done i'm sympathetic to it i i it's i think it's very sad but majority are done out of convenience okay and that's what i'm that's what I'm talking about. And that this is what I feel like is happening. You have people who misappropriated gender. You see one thing and what else are you going to say? You know, you spent your whole life associating. It, it just it doesn't make sense. I hope you get what I'm trying to articulate here, because that's exactly what I see happening, especially if you watch this this video here and who knows, maybe this is some kind of sham or something like that. But, you know, this this where is he at? This gentleman as well, as well, and I'll leave links in the description, uh, as, and I'll link my other video. But I thought I should just follow up that I'm not insensitive to. I know that some individuals suffer from some um, psychological and physical abnormalities, and there uh, are rare genetic disorders. I, I, I'm not. We're not talking about that. We're talking about this. You know, we're talking about this. And you know, I'll just reiterate about this person here. Um, the I've gone back to being a child, husband and father of seven, 52, leaves his wife and kids to live as a transgender six-year-old girl named Stephanie. Um, I'm not calling this this gentleman here, this person here, a pedophile. But what I'm saying is, is when a 52-year-old man can become a six-year-old girl, what happens when this person wants a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Now, I, I've, I've listened to the story and I've covered this before on my channel 
uh, so he was talking about dating like bikers and burly men and police officers. OK, but I mean, if, when we start, if we start to make laws and policies and legislation that says that individuals have to be recognized as, as, as this age and, you know, as far off as that may sound, you, you saw how 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 violent and um, belligerent the, the person was there in the GameStop. Right. Just imagine this being expanded on if we don't nip it in the bud. This is just the kind of dangers we're talking about. I'm not calling this man a danger. I'm not calling him a pedophile. I'm just saying when men can suddenly not just be women and go into whatever bathroom they choose and, and do whatever kind of perversions there, now they can choose an age and arguments can be made that they can be dating their appropriate age range, right? So, I mean, I'm just saying let's be careful. Let's look at the doors that it's opening. Let's think about some of this stuff. California Carter signing off. Thank you.